Welcome back to Franchise TV on his YouTube channel. I'll unbox anything. Today I'm opening up two BAM boxes. These are absolutely covered in dust. <laughs> kind of gross, right? These have been in storage for a while. So actually, I quit subscribing to BAM box probably four or five months ago at least. And I have probably around 15 to 20 BAM boxes from the past year. I never even opened up like this one. I actually can see the date. This one shipped back on February 2023. So that was like, what, seven months ago, I think. This one doesn't have, does not have a ship by date on it. But sometime earlier this year, or probably late last year. So this one is a band whore. This one, I'm guessing, actually, at some point within the past year, they changed all the boxes to just say BAM, which I think is kind of... You you don't know which box it is. So if you buy the horror and what else they have, the the geek and the anime, you don't know which box you're getting. So anyway, we're going to do two boxes in this video. I still have, uh, what's it called? What are those boxes called? Loot crates. <laughs> Loot crate boxes over here in the corner from several years ago I never opened up. So on this YouTube channel, every Tuesday, or at least most Tuesdays, I wanna do kinda of like subscription box Tuesdays. It's gonna be wrestling some days, cause I get quite a few wrestling subscription boxes every month, but I'm also gonna start working on the backlog of these BAM boxes and Loot Crate boxes and other old subscription boxes. So yeah, these are still factory seal. I've never, man, these things are so dusty. It's really almost disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, whenever you let something sit for months and months and months, it just gets dust. Here you go. First one. Looks like on the inside we're doing both boxes in one video. Let's see. Uh, maybe we can tell what kind of box this is by this first item. Oh, this is, it says, The Last of Us. It's kind of like a pendant of The Last of Us. I finally watched that on HBO. Oh, actually, I, I subscribed to HBO Max. What is it, what's it called now? Just Max? just to watch The Last of Us. And it was, it was a good series. I wouldn't say it's like the best ever, but it was a good series. It was good, not great, good. Here we go, next item. I think it's like stuck in this box. Oh, that's um, Spawn. That's Spawn. That looks cool. Let me actually see if it is a limited one. Oh, and also I read on Facebook in the Bambox group that the company is officially dissolving December of this year. They will no longer exist. So they've said that the rest of this year, not numbers, so it's just the common spawn. The rest of this year will be the last Bambox. But like I said, I think I quit buying these maybe May, April, May, I think it was several months ago. I just kind of quit because I was just kind of tired of, of the band boxes. Value of the boxes just wasn't meeting like the price hikes. And so, I mean, the best way is to speak with your wallet. Just don't buy from anymore. Because I know they didn't like me doing reviews of their products because their <laughs> reviews weren't usually, you know, fantastic. Oh, that's cool. We got Deadpool. Deadpool. Everything's starting to, that's, everything was sticking to this, the back of this thing because it had to come down. Here we go. Deadpool, that's pretty cool. Probably like what one thing left, and it is the autographed eight by ten. You ready? Who is it? Oh, that's the movie uh, Mallrats. What's his name? Can think of his his name, but I'm guessing that's his autograph. So this is the Bam Box Geek, February 2023. Oh yeah, it was autographed by Jeremy London. That's not bad. That's actually not a bad autograph to get out of this box. I'm actually gonna hold on to that, add it to my personal autograph collection. That that was I'm put it over there. It wasn't like a totally a terrible box. It was okay. That was okay. It wasn't it still wasn't worth what I paid for it. But at least I like the autograph in there, so that's a positive. Here we go. This one, the Bam Whore. This has no date on this. This actually might have been from last year. I won't be too shocked if I see it's from last year. Here we go, Bam Horror. Does anybody still subscribe to the Bam Box? Or is everybody like me and within the past year or so just kind of unsubscribe from all their boxes? 
I know a lot of my personal friends have stopped buying these boxes. All I don't know. I don't know any like personal, I guess, friend or person I talk to that still buys their boxes. Everybody's pretty much has stopped. I think. Here we go. First item should be the monthly pin, and it is. This is the wow. This is the June 2021 pin. So this box was it August, September. So like what 15 months ago. <laughs> this box is from 15 months ago. I, I told you that I still have boxes going back to last year. I just never opened them up because honestly, like I was just kind of tired of band box. Just kind of tired of it. But that's not bad. Collectible pin. June 2021. It's kind of funny. Here we go. Next item. Oh, these are the old scratch cards. Remember these things? I never won one of these. I scratched off dozens of them. There's only one person that I ever knew that won on this, and they won like just a basic art print from like a previous band box. I never, they're supposed to be able to win like, I think like computers and TVs and PlayStation. I don't know of anybody that ever won any prize outside of like one art print. Even on like the band box, like the groups. I never heard of anybody that actually won any actual like, you know, big prize. So I've been kind of curious anybody out there. Did you ever win anything big on this course? This is no longer like a valid card. Um, I think you have like what 30 days from the date of this box to redeem it. So even if I won, yeah, it's nothing. Okay. Here we go. Go back in. Bam Horror Collection. We have oh, that's Gage from Pet Cemetery. That's Gage. Numbered out of 30, or I'm uh, about 3,000. We have the proper replica. Oh, is that from um, Lock and Key? Maybe. Is that from Lock and Key? Kind of looks like a key. Like the head key or something. So, art print. What do we have? Is it awesome? I guess that's Leatherface, right? That's that's what's supposed to be Leatherface. It's numbered out of only 500. I guess it's Leatherface. If it is, it's not a very good drawing. Here we go, last item. This is going to be the autograph 8x10. Come on, some, something halfway decent. What is it? Oh! I like that. I collect Walking Dead stuff. This is from the very first episode, season one, episode one of The Walking Dead. This is the bice or the teddy bear girl that Rick Grimes runs into um, when he was like like on like the highway and he sees this girl. That's pretty cool. I don't have this autograph. So actually both these boxes, I like the autograph in each box. Beyond that, I don't really like anything else though, but this wasn't bad. This wasn't bad. But yeah, the feature celebrity on this one is Addie Miller. Of course, she's all grown up now because season one came back, came out, I think it was 2010, right? It was like the October of 2010. It came out, it came like 13 years ago. So this, what, eight, nine year old girl here is now like in her 20s, early 20s. But Addie Miller, I like that. But yeah, here's the cheat sheet, everything that was available. And the art print is Leatherface from the Texas Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The prop item actually was from 13 Ghosts. That makes sense. Okay. Not bad. Well, I should say that the autograph in each box. I really like the autograph. But this this is the band box. Like I said, I no longer subscribe to this box. I, I stopped subscribing sometime in early spring, I think it was. Several months ago. And this company is going to close their doors officially December of this year. So a few more months, BAM box will be completely gone. But I still got more box to open up. I'm going to work, work through the backstock of these boxes. And so stay tuned. You'll see some more on this YouTube channel.